Within your emails, letters menu in your Supercontrol account, you'll find the add section. And this allows you to add one by one all of the email templates that you use to correspond to your guests. Now, it's very easy to set up your letters. All you need to do is give your letter a name. And a handy feature is categories. So if you're going to have quite a lot of different email templates, what you can do is you can group these. Now, we've called them categories. Now, by clicking onto this link, it lets you call the categories what you wish. So we have guest emails and housekeeper emails. You may also want to add the likes of agent emails or owner emails if you're using an agency level account. And it's a really easy function. Once you've added your categories, you would just select from the drop down what category you wish this letter to be in. And it means when you're in a booking looking for the letter, it's under the category headers. So it's easier to navigate to find the right letter. Underneath, we have the main body of the email. Now you'll see that we have the usual toolbar where you can customize your text, but we do have a little button that says tag, and that's what are the merge fields. So to save us having to type out the information from the individual booking each time, we can put in these merge fields and that will pull that individual information through from the booking. So it saves you an awful lot of time. You'll see there's many different merge fields, different tags to choose from. Just moving along, you can see. Now, one thing I would like to say, and it's the only area you need to be mindful of, is within this booking properties, if you wish to use any of the merge fields down here, you must input this merge field in first. If we don't have this merge field added into the letter before we use the fields below, they won't work. So all that it is, is when you click onto the merge field, it puts the tag into the letter automatically for you. So you'll see just by clicking, that tag field is added a starting tag and an end tag. So all you need to do is to make sure that this is at the start of your letter and this is at the end of your letter. And it doesn't matter whether it's near the end or at the very end. You don't need to be specific. The main thing to be sure of is that for any of the tags that you use under this header, booking properties, that they're in between the start and end tag. We have an email template here where we have our logo tags in. Um, we've got the address field and so on. Sometimes I find it easier to write my email as much as I can, leaving spaces for the merge fields for the tags, and then go back and add the tag fields in later on so I know where to position them within the template. Moving further down, you'll see we have the email options where you've got the default email subject. Now, if you wish the subject of this email to read differently from what you've called it at the top of this screen, then you can. So some people like the default email subject to read differently. So you can put in an email subject and that will show to the guest instead of what you've named the letter from the admin side. The Word document options, that's if you're wanting to print off. And right at the bottom of the screen here, you have the save button. Now the tick box, it says use for online booking summary. That means that the email that you've created here will sit at the very top of the booking summary when a booking is submitted on the website. Now, really that should just be a couple of words and we have a dedicated email template for that. So my recommendation would be don't tick that box and use it for the online booking summary because there's a separate email template that will get used for that. Now you're probably wondering how this email is going to look. What I always suggest is that you have a booking open and within the booking, you will go down to the history and correspondence tab. And within here, you can select the email that you would like to look at. So within here, you would select the email, click generate, and this will let you view all of the merge fields populated.